guys welcome back to my channel and if you saw the title you are here because of the black cat tarot deck guys i don't blame you this is what they come in just this little box very cute on the front box it has the inscription of the moon card so if any of you guys are curious of what the moon card looks like it is directly on the box so there are a lot of mixed reviews of the tarot deck i for one love it um it is not for beginners okay if you are intuitive or extremely intuitive then you will be able to look at the illustration of a car and be able to use the symbology of what the black cats are made up of and they are in the realms of duality okay they live within the physical and the sp spiritual realm okay they deal with all things that are dual so when we are doing this black cat tarot deck we are able to go back in between those two worlds okay I also looked and I use for myself and other people is a way of getting that lockdown um, unconscious subconscious okay brought up when we're doing the cards we can use this for subconscious nature okay and behavior to bring healing to bring things that aren't unlocked within yourself okay these cards can be used for that also so if you're doing a lot of energy work if you're doing like a lot of people call it like um dark energy or um that deals with the subconscious not saying anything dark energy like negative or bad you know how people are but anything that is dealt with the unseen okay the unseen that's left unlocked within yourself that hasn't brought to the conscious you can use the black tech carol card for that which i love all right so not only are you using it for like that dual nature it just gives you a deeper perspective of black cats okay I love the illustration on there. They're really cute. But like I said, they aren't intuitive for someone who aren't into the works of doing um, divination, so to speak. So this is the little book that it comes in. Really cute. And all honestly, you only need like two pages of this book because the rest of the book is catered for other languages. It is written in Portuguese, douche, French. Espanol and Italiano. So it's written in other language too, which I like that a lot. But like I said, it's very short. You can read it within 15, 20 minutes. I always go back to revisit it just because it has its own spiritual nature and um, essence in the cards and in the book itself. Okay, so we'll take a few times to go through each of the cards of the Major Arcanum and the Minor Arcanum. Okay, and I just selectively just chose these cards. No rhyme or reason. I'm just cards I want to show you guys, okay? And we'll talk and discuss what they are intuitively. And then we'll look into the book and see what they have. So we will take a few minutes with this video, all right? With the Black Cat Tarot. Also on the box, on the back of the box, it says here, Nine Lives Under the Shadows, Five Lives of True magic two lives for and higher wisdom one life of dreams and journeys and the final one to start a new so when there's zero you start a new life I thought that was really cute anyway well ah, ah, look at the little cat on the back First off, you guys, let's hit it to the Major Arcana one to show you the Emperor. This is what the Emperor is entail, okay? I look at him, I see he has a ruby chain around his neck. He has a ruby on his ring. He has coins at the bottom. His feet is not even touching the floor, okay? His feet are like on cushion. He has the symbology of a bat here at the top with the crown and he has his crown on um, the Emperor is holding the world all right 
in this crystal ball it looks like and i thought it stood out a lot his chair his throne that he's sitting on and not only that just all of the details that make up this emperor right now really 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 cute so the book says about the emperor It says, the emperor governs with strength and stability. He loves emotional and material security. Okay, he is sure of himself when necessary, acts with determination. He can be sometimes strict, okay, and other things in regards to that. Um, if you guys pick up the deck, you are more than welcome to read the rest of that inscription. But wanted to show you guys what the Emperor looks like. All right. So our next card we are on is the Hierophant. When I see the Hierophant, the Hierophant, of course, is wearing his Magi cape for the world to see and for the nature to see. Okay. He is not like keeping it to himself okay in this car he is like out into the world and he is out in love and reciprocity all right this is the hierophant we can get a good little little picture of that in the book for the hierophant let's see indeed they always have something clever so it says the hierophant represents spiritual authority the essence of faith in every undertaking as long as it is not transformed into fanaticism. <laughs> Perfectly said. Okay, guys, so the next card I want to show you is the strength card. All right, so when I look at this card, it looks like the you the two aspects of you you have the lion here who is being soothed and being massaged by another aspect of yourself of your personality so to speak you have like the fire here at the bottom which is the lava hot where the lion lives basically so this is a strength card and and that is what i see here give you a closer look If you can see the lion has his head down there in a cave okay i mean this lion look like he is definitely in heaven <laughs> so the book here says about the strength card it says this card invites us to reflect on the strength that resides in qualities like passion vitality and kindness very beautiful so the next card I want to show you guys is the hangman and if you get a really good up close look of this card when I see this card, <laughs> obviously okay he's wrapped in a web from a spider he doesn't look like he's uncomfortable at all he looked like he kind of just want to hang there <laughs> on its own really cute little grown man cat hanging upside down <laughs> attached to trees and a spider web underneath him is definitely where the spider has eaten its share and spit out what he did not need here at the bottom so the hangman card says here that the hangman it says who is the hangman a victim perhaps the spider web that holds him prisoner has delicate silk that could be broken easily okay so that gives you a little bit of insight of what they mean so the next card i'm going to show you guys is the tower okay this is what the tower is these cats are in the forest and to me it looks like it's like the ocean at the top which you know is reflective of the sky anyhow but here we have the sky and they're in the forest and a lot of cats are jumping out and of course we know this means like extreme change of events okay this is what the tower card is in the black cat tarot our next card in the major arcanum is the devil okay like how i said that the devil <laughs> So obviously it's depicted in a feminine nature, okay? 
if I'm getting a good shot, we have like the five point star in the background and we have the five point star underneath in the fire. And around surrounding it, we have black cats that are looking onward. She is somewhat seductive just by how her position is. And she has a fan on her over covering her eyes and she has a mask on, okay? So this is the reflection of what the devil is in the black cat tarot. Okay, like cute little illustration of this card, but we all know what cute things can lead to sometimes. <laughs> Judging by this card, her pretty much elusive nature. In the book here, it says this arcanium symbolizes the violence of passions. Okay. And it has other wording in there also after that. Just wanted to give you kind of what they were going for when this card was developed. <laughs> Our next one to show is the judgment card, guys. Okay. This can be depicted in so many different ways. Um, it's a little bright because we have here, these are clouds obviously, but coming from the clouds are little musical notes, okay? And of course we have the cats here, some are chained, okay, to whatever aspect of consciousness and this earthly plane is what I'm thinking. We have some other cats that are just looking like, yeah, okay, I'm not going nowhere. I'm going to stay changed. I'm going to stay attached. There are some cats who are just waking up into this environment and there are other cats who are still haven't woken up to this environment. There are cats who look afraid. There are some cats who are just like, yeah, okay, it's whatever. And another thing, when I see this car, it has the onks actually embedded on these crosses here on each one of these crosses we have onks okay and this is what the judgment card looks like for the black cat tarot okay and quickly like basically the book probably just says um this arcanium represents the world the end and the beginning of each and every oh no 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 it says this arcanium means rebirth okay so that's what this depiction of this card means um of rebirth moving on from the major arcanium like i said i just chose all those just randomly Okay, now we're just going to go and do the elements and, you know, fire, water, air, and earth and do a little inscription of what those are intuitively and then what the books say for themselves, guys. So first we are going to do the wands. First up, we have the two of wands, okay? And it says discussion. So here you have two aspects of yourself or in a group or between another person their arms or hands are interlocked as if they're going into an arm wrestle okay one cat is holding his wand and the other cat has his wand here on the ground so to me that kind of tells me that it's just two aspects of yourself but this two of wands represents um discussion yes indeed okay <laughs> next here we have we have the six of wands all right we just have like a bunch of cats down at the bottom here on around the stage where there's wands and there's flowers on the stage and behind them are pillars okay they're outside He's holding up a trophy and he has on a form of like a trophy or triumph, something that was accomplished and completed for with a medal. And this represents victory. This six of wands represent victory. Next up, we have the 10 of wands. Okay very bright card <laughs> this cat is inside of a cave 
all right obviously he's inside of a cave with crystals and wands this card represents enlightenment this cat turned on the switch like ooh, new idea ooh, new finding ooh, i've never thought about that that is the look of this cat here okay he found himself a treasure okay so next here we have the queen of wands black cat tarot the queen of wands look at her she is whew, endowed in nature in reciprocity okay she is here on the ground for one on her knees on the ground feeding birds okay she is not sitting on a throne she is in nature giving back okay this card represents welcome sorry for the lighting guys it's raining on and off today but we are still moving along we are going to look at the chalices okay and this black hack tar tarot the cups are known as chalices and first up we have three of cups okay and this three of cups represents generosity and i'm in front of a tree and i keep looking outside because there's all kinds of birds <laughs> So we have everyone's sharing conversation, everyone's sharing love, everyone's sharing with each other, okay? This is the representation of the Three of Cups, generosity. All together listening, okay? Our next card in the chalices is the Five of Cups, okay? the five of cups represents sadness he's outside and it's cold and i don't know too many people who really like to be in cold weather <laughs> um if you do that's fine but um here as you can see it looked like he had some fire he has one fire that's keeping him warm but he can already tell that everything has already depleted itself so this card, the Five of Cups, represents sadness. Next card here, which will be our final card in the chalices, is Seven of Cups. Okay, we have a card that is... Oh, I lied. We have one more card after that. We have this cat here who is laying, like, within the threshold of, like, the shadow and the bright of day, okay? And it represents illusions, we have the car that's on the line of shadow and on the line of joy, okay? Our next card is the Ten of Cups, and that actually does represent joy. We have cats sharing. <laughs> we have this cat in the sky, has little cat ears at the top. We have all of the sharing and caring here, okay? This represents joy in the Black Cat Tarot. And that does it for our chalices, guys. So we done the major, we done the wands, we done the chalices. Now let's do the swords. First up, we have the Ace of Swords, okay? The Ace of Swords, it represents victory just like the six of wands, which was quite peculiar to me. Hmm, this one could be represented in serious efforts for your victory, but this card represents victory. Of course, you have the cat that's standing there on his little cat tree mountain, and he has the horn blowing it, and he is wearing a white cape, okay? This is the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords. This is the Ace of Swords. <laughs> Next up, guys, we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, so as you can see, we can see this cat is surrounded and it looks like he is in his own cage, in his own entrapment, okay? He's looking at each and every mirror and all he sees is the reflections of himself. This card represents solitude, okay? Next up, we have the knave 
okay and she represents the guardian look at the stern look upon her face <laughs> she has a necklace mm, wow and the necklace represents peace in the middle okay and it has other representations of that too in the sky there are other birds okay and she is high up in the sky it looks like with that beautiful sword in her hand looking onward just as sternly as she is okay this is the representation of the guardian okay next up we have the knight of swords the knight of swords here it is the cat and he is on the horse and they are ready to take on whatever's in front of them okay this is representation of breakup in the black cat tarot representation of breakup guys that concludes the sword so of course finally we have the coins right you can't get through anything in this material plane without the coins <laughs> yes i said it so um first we have the four of coins you can see this cat down here and he has barricaded himself in the ground with his treasures guys okay this represents isolation just because you have a lot of coins does not mean that you are in good favor of yourself <laughs> okay or of anyone else this card four of coins represents isolation next guys we have the seven of coins okay we have a cat here who has the little tree in the middle that is chained and he is protecting that tree <laughs> he is watering that tree he has his little um, water canister right there on the side everything that is deal with um, growing your first plant okay it is there this card represents patience he's sitting there in meditation too focus that card represents patience guys the seven of coins next we have the eight of coins do da do da we have a cat who is so sternly in focus on getting this cake just perfect look at the delicate details that are up in making this cake that he's doing he is doing everything in precision and perfection okay this card represents ability next up we have the king of coins guys so this is the king of coins this guy he has a coin in his hand and he has a piece of nature which is wheat in his hand he is outside he is sitting on his throne mm, he's looking at his coins it looked like he's pretty much contemplating to me guys this card represents strategy okay that will do it for our coins section of the black cat tarot you guys I wish I can show you all of the cards one by one with each illustration and what the inscription says in the book. I really do. But I know that people have other things to do. Um, you know, there are a lot of pros in this deck, which you guys are probably already aware of, is the illustrations of the cards, okay? The broad illustrations of the cards. I love that you can get into the material aspects of these cards or you can get into the spiritual aspects of these cards. There are a few cards where there are a representation of white cats as well. Okay. There are a few where there's a representation of the white cat. And here's the moon card. Okay. The representation has the white cat here in the sky. Okay, and you have woo, the renewal card. We have the world card. 
okay this is the re representation of starting something new so he's shedding the old aspect of himself and starting a new one is that great cycle of life i i um like that part um another pro that i would say right off top is that you can use these for anything not only for your subconscious you can use it for like your day-to-day -day reflection of energy just like any other tarot deck um the only con i would say is just maybe like the wear of the cards i can actually see over time that they will lose their hold they're pretty slippery as well when you're shuffling the cards you have to really get a good hold and grasp of them and the focus as best as you can because they are pretty much slippery they're they're pretty slick but overall as far as like the wear and the quality of the cards some people say they stick my cards don't stick and i can see where they're getting that from because of the slickness of the cards but even then so this is a deck that i will continually to purchase and continue continually use and i'm sure over time maybe the stock whole cards will get better will get thick whatever but i think it is well worth the purchase okay i like the ability to free and flow from here into there with these black cats okay so i like that um yeah so that gives us the review of the black cat tarot deck i really hope you guys enjoy the video i really hope you guys take your own time to um gather your own experiences from this deck as well maybe you have already maybe you are looking into it maybe you are drawn to black cats okay um i highly suggest to purchase these cards um i'm not being sponsored in any way but i love them a lot and i use them with the healing and spiritual work that I do for myself and I do for others as well. Um, I am doing still the daily card black cat drawings. So if you guys want a little bit more insight of what these cards are, just like on a more one-on-one -on -one daily basis, you can check out my playlist there. I hope that you guys have a very blessed, caring, reciprocal and self-healing day. I will see you guys on my next video. Peace! <laughs>